Hey, Matthew here from FiberglassSupply.com. In this video, we're going to show you how to make an adhesive putty for bonding. In this case, we're going to do an epoxy resin with a cabosil filler to thicken that resin and create a putty or a paste that we can use in bonding applications. This is really simple and straightforward, so let's dive right into it. There's a couple of things we need. Obviously, we need our resin system. That you know, that is the glue of the system, but the resin alone oftentimes is too runny. Maybe we want to make a cove or a fillet, or maybe we need a thicker glue so we can spread that glue on our part and then glue it together like we've done with the skateboards and like we've done with the kite boards in our kiteboard building videos. All right, we need a resin system. We've got that here. We're going to use an epoxy system. And we've got our cabosil right here. So this is our cabosil. This is the bucket we work out of here at work. Uh, we've got a little measuring cup to measure the cabosil out of the bucket with. We've got a notch spreader. This really isn't part of making the putty, but this is what we often use to spread the putty uh, as a notch spreader. We've got a mixing stick, mixing bucket, some safety glasses, we've got gloves, and we've got a respirator or a dust mask. Get some gloves on, we want to keep the resin off our skin. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to mix our epoxy and hardener together. This one's a two to one. We've got 200 milliliters of resin. We're gonna add 100 milliliters of hardener, and we're gonna thoroughly mix our resin and our hardener together before we begin adding filters. So again, with the epoxy, we have a video on this, but we're gonna mix for about two minutes to get it all nice and mixed together. Uh, while I'm mixing it, uh, a couple of things. Epoxies come in different viscosities, and the thicker the viscosity that you start with, or the higher the viscosity you start with, the less cabosil you have to add to make the putty thicker. So we're gonna mix this until we've got it thoroughly mixed. Like I said, two minutes, make sure you scrape the sides and the bottom. All right, once we have that all mixed up, we're gonna begin adding our cabosil. We wanna add a little bit of time, because if we dump a big bunch in there, it's gonna float off and end up all over the place not in the resin where we want it. So add a little bit at a time. And again, you can vary how much you add or how thick you make the putty. So if we want a putty that's you know maybe ketchup thickness or honey thickness, we don't have to put a lot in, just a little bit will help get us there. If we want a putty, you know, it's like icing on a cake and it will stand up and peak and hold its own, we can keep adding until we get to that thickness. So we're just gonna add a little bit in here. And what I'll often do is I'll try and kind of fold that in to the epoxy and get it in there so that it's not floating around. So the cabosil, all it's going to do is thicken the resin. It doesn't extend it. It doesn't make it lighter. It thickens it. It actually makes it harder to sand. So if we're doing a fairing putty, we're actually gonna add something like 3M bubbles and then a little bit of cabosil to thicken it up uh, so it doesn't run. In that case, because we've added a lot of 3M bubbles, it'll sand easily. And a little bit of cabosil that we add to you know, get that final thickness uh, won't hurt us when we go to sand. But in this case, all we're after is an adhesive putty or an adhesive paste. And so uh, we're not worried about sanding it. We're not worried about making it easy to fare out. We're just gonna add cabosil. You see we're a little thicker, uh, but it still runs quite a bit. So we're gonna just keep adding. So now you see we're starting to get thicker. Depending on what we we're going to do, this could be, you know, thick enough. But if we wanted to do a fillet, um, that's obviously not going to make it a good filling putty yet. But it is thicker. So let's add a little bit more. Now one thing do you keep in mind you know, we're making an adhesive putty here. We can add so much 
cabosil that it gets too dry. Uh, we want our adhesive putty to still be kind of wet uh, so that the epoxy that comes in contact with the wood or the fiberglass or whatever we're trying to bond just isn't too dry. So like this thickness, that would be great for gluing the skins on our skateboard or our, our kiteboard. Um, that would work for a small fillet for doing a bulkhead. And you know what we're looking for is it, you know, that lump there is kind of staying exactly how we pulled it out. It's not really sagging at all. It's staying where we want it. So at this point, if we were going to glue something together, we could go for it. If we're doing a bit bigger fillet, uh, we could add a little bit more and, and get this a little thicker still. Yeah, look at that. So, so with that, we could do a larger fillet and it's going to stay in place. Really simple. Start with your epoxy, mix the epoxy first so you know you've got a good blend between your A side and your B side. Then add cabosil a little bit at a time until you reach the desired thickness. For some gluing applications you may want it slightly runny. Uh, for others where you've got like big fillets or big areas where the putty is going to need to fill or hang up in, uh, you're going to want to go you know, with more and make that thicker. If time is not on your side or you're doing larger batches, uh, you definitely want to go with a slow hardener and slow that down because it is going to take you a certain amount of time to mix the putty uh, and then get it out and onto the project. So thanks for watching this video and we'll see you soon.